Here we are in Corpus Christi on Padre Island. On a beautiful foggy day at the beach. At the beach. Woo! All right, now here we're at a Bucky's in Texas. We're gonna get, grab a sandwich, get some gas. Our first Bucky's in Texas. First Bucky's in Texas. Here we are filling up full of gas. Hey, Todd, where are we? By the ocean, Texas. Yep, we're coming up to Rockport, which is just north of Corpus Christi. Since my father retired in Rockport, Texas, I have a lot of fond memories of that area. Since Lorianne had never been there, this was an adventure for her. One memory that stands out is the delicious local seafood cut off the shores of Rockport. Seafood. One of Dad's favorite restaurants in the Rockport area was Charlotte Plumbers. Charlotte was my destination for an early dinner this night. After dinner, we caught the ferry from Rockport to Port Aransas. During peak seasons and holidays, the line to get on the ferry could have an hour or more wait. Tonight, our wait was not very long. When we boarded the ferry on the Rockport side and crossed that strip of water into Port Aransas, this 10-minute ride became the portal to our vacation destination. After departing the ferry, we had a 15-minute drive south to our condo. And here's the view of the ocean and beach from our balcony and then right over here we have the swim pool we have a cute little kitchenette and living area and here's the back bedroom area closer view of the kitchenette and here's the cute little bathroom down here in Corpus Christi on Mustang Island we're on the north side of well, here we are at the beach. <laughs> Again, it's a little easy. Overcast. 65 degrees and windy. And a little drizzle rain right now. It's another day for the homes on the beach. Retired and traveling. Ah! Oh, rigs off there to the right. There she is, getting her feet wet on the beach. That afternoon, we took the John F. Kennedy Bridge and Causeway over to Corpus Christi and we drove around the town. We enjoyed our sightseeing so very much, but sadly, we didn't take many pictures. We saw the USS Lexington from the roadway and drove closer for a picture. We'll need to come back on another trip so we can tour the Lexington Museum. On the way back, we took the ferry again from Rockport to Port Aransas but this time we stopped at Port Aransas for dinner. And tonight we're gonna to be eating seafood here at Virginia's. And this place is pretty kicking here today. It's still fairly early, so wonder what it'll be like later. What are you getting? I think I'm gonna get some golf shrimp and mahi-mahi. Ooh, yummy. And the boats are coming and going here in Port Aransas. Okay, this really isn't a margarita, but it sure is good looking rum, whatever it is, rum. Cheers! Just a few minutes ago, we were sitting in sunshine and it looked like a good morning. We were getting ready to pack up and head to the beach. Here's a look around our campus and you can see we're kind of socked in. You can barely see the road over there on the other side of that palm tree. So we came over to the beach today, and this is what uh, we're facing with high surf, wind, and fog. But you know, we're at the beach, and it's really not that bad of weather outside. I gotta do a beach thing, you know? I gotta like go in the water. I don't know why. She's making me do it. I'm gonna go do it. So you can watch me. See how far I get. Might be up to my ankles.
it's time to go get wet. Finally. We're gonna see about this. My feet are wet. I can go in now, right? There's proof. I'm out there in the water. I'm going to get the wave on me. There it goes. Can't see very far down. There's any direction. It's kind of fogged in. There's Lori Ann. I don't know if you can see her. <gasps> wave it. That was a high one. <laughs> Anyways, day at the beach. Okay. okay, the water really isn't terribly cold. We've swam in colder water, but it's just without the sunshine coming through bright and, and the haze and the fog, it just kind of like just doesn't make for a great beach day. I'm gonna go in and see if Lorian wants to take and do some walking on the beach. Well, it's cold. Hi, this is Todd and Lori Ann from Retired and Traveling. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guess what Lori Ann's making there in the sand. Don't know if you can see that. So what do you do when you, uh, have a foggy day, you walk the beach. A day at the beach is still a day at the beach. Whether it's rainy, sunshine, or the day in the fall. It's amazing. Interesting things you see on the beach. Parents bearing their child and bad to the bone flag. All right, we know if we waited long enough, the sun might come out. We're getting some sunshine. And we lost the car. <laughs> okay, we're a little perplexed because we've walked the beach and then we've come all the way back and we cannot find our car. Let's just stop. We found our car. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Walking up and down the beach is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. We need the exercise, but we really walked right by our car. We thought it was farther down that way. And so we, but we backtracked first, and we found it. <laughs> okay. Here on the North Padre Island, you can drive your vehicle up and down the beach. If you want, you can get a pass at a local convenience store that allows you to park your vehicle on the beach also. Well, when you don't have beach chairs, you sit on the back of your car. <laughs> I like Coke. This is not a paid endorsement of the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, nor is it. Well, another day at the beach here in Corpus Christi on Padre Island. Today, lots of fog. It's the middle of the day. Early this morning we had a little bit of sunshine, but then it just, all this fog rolled in. It's windy, big surf. Okay, we're at the beach. We're at the beach. You can see that.